presents Jimmy Neutron, boy genius in Calling All Aliens, part one. Goddard, transport goo dart. Hand, Goddard. Hey, it works! With this matter transporter, I'll never have to worry about missing the school bus again. You can just beam me right into my desk. Incoming message. Oh, it's a message from deep space. Deciphering message. Yes. This is what I've been waiting for all my life. Contact with an advanced alien race. Decipher nearing completion. They're never going to believe this at school, Goddard. School, Goddard. School, Goddard. Oh, yeah. Hold up. I am a man. And a message is a cover. Show and tell is tomorrow. <laughs> and when I got home, the message from space had been erased, so I didn't get to hear it. Uh, we're pretty high up here, Jimmy. I, I think I kind of sort of prefer low. There. I patched into Retroville's power grid. We are going to use all the lights in Retroville to spell out a greeting to our alien brothers. Watch this, Carl. Uh, let's try something else. Uh, I got it. Wow. Do you think the aliens can really see it from space? No problem, Carl. We'll just turn up the juice and... Whoops. Santa Claus, you're early. And you're filthy. Big elf. I'll contact those aliens yet. Jimmy, Jimmy, I just got the Ultra Lord talking wristwatch. It has over 27 different Ultra Lord sayings. Look. Saying number one. Isn't that cool? That's cool, Sheen. Hey, is that a telescope? It's my yellow scope. It amplifies your voice 34 million times so you can send messages across the galaxy. Watch. <laughs> Greetings from Earth. Hey. Maybe it's 34 million times louder to only dogs. wonder what's wrong. This should work. The hypersynchro filament is in alignment with the cauterized cooling coil. Hmm. Maybe it's because the on switch is on. Hey, Jimmy! It worked! I don't know about outer space, but we sure made contact with Mr. and Mrs. Appleby. <sighs> Look, Libby, Jimmy's making a nerd mobile. Hold up, Cindy. That is clearly a nerd rocket mobile. <laughs> Good morning, Libby. Oh, Miss Vortex, I see they let you out of your cage early today. What are you doing anyway, Jerkules? Well, this is probably a little over your boy band swooning heads. But I'm testing a rocket so we can fly high enough to launch a communication satellite. We? Yeah, what incredible imbecile would ride with you in that junk heap? Is it ready yet, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> ready, Carl? Uh, yeah. Blast off! <laughs> Is this Mars? <laughs> See you, space boys! Uh, uh, are you sure about this, Jimmy? Absolutely, Carl. The chimney provides a perfectly stable launching platform. Okay. Uh, Jimmy, wh why do I have this toaster again? I told you, it's not a toaster, Carl. It's a communication satellite. Oh, okay, yeah. But why do you want to communicate with toast? Oh, never mind, Carl. Just fasten your seatbelt. Uh, I, I don't know about this, Jimmy. And then besides, you promised to help me with math today. Oh, okay, fair enough, Carl. Okay, all right. What's 25 minus 20? Five. 16 minus 12? Uh, four. Good. Three times one? Three. Six divided by three? Two. Two minus one? One. Blast off! Will Jimmy find his aliens? Will Carl lose his lunch? There's only one way to find out. See Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, the movie. Rated G. Now playing.